The first French press was patented in 1929. It went through design modifications and was patented again in 1958, where it was manufactured in a small French clarinet factory. A French press is very easy to use. First you remove the lid, then you add coffee grounds. It's best not to use fine grounds, but a little more coarse grounds. Next you add hot water. Some people prefer to boil their water in a tea kettle on the stove. Others prefer to use a hot plate, depending on their environment and situation. When pouring, be sure to expose the coffee grounds to as much hot water directly as possible. Then replace the lid and wait 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, press the plunger lid down to the bottom of the press. This filters all the grounds to the bottom and leaves coffee rich and strong on the top. Pour into a mug and enjoy. To clean the press, remove the lid and shake excess grounds off the plunger. Grab a spoon and scoop the grounds into a trash can. For users with a garbage disposal, the cleaning process goes a lot smoother. But for users without a garbage disposal, it's a little bit messy. Then rinse the craft in the sink and make sure all the wet coffee grounds are gone. Also rinse the plunger and make sure the mesh filter is clean. One designed element of the French press is the handle. It looked at the optimal distance between the object in the hand and the optimal hand diameter. I also looked at the rotation of the wrist when pouring objects. I noted that the center of gravity shifts downward as someone pours an object. The handle should be placed above the center of gravity. The visual focus during pouring is a spout. Current models are not designed for this feature. To test my idea, I used a peanut butter jar and a silicone cup. The silicone seals the thread and it also inverts to allow for easier cleaning. I took over 100 images of current French presses, vases, and pitchers. I looked at the forms and the outlines of all of these products and did overlays to see the common forms. I then did rapid sketching to decide how I wanted the form to exactly look. This is Tinu, a French press that is easier to clean. Like many French presses, there's a lid and a plunger. The uniqueness comes in the body and the base. A permanent silicone cup sits on the bottom of the base. When unscrewed and inverted, it is easier to clean. The top knob is shaped like a pebble and flat, so it's easy to press. The classic plunger design is retained, and the holes in the top of the lid allow for the coffee to flow. This is Tinu, a French press that is easier to clean.